This is part 87 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the SQL Server accept operator with a few examples. So what does this accept operator do? This operator returns unique rows from the left query that are not there in the right query's results. Let's understand this with an example. We'll be using these two tables, table A and table B in this demo. I've already created these tables and here is the SQL script to create them and populate with test data. I'll have the script available on my blog in case you need it. Now let's write a query that's going to involve both these tables and the accept operator. So what we want to do is select ID name gender from table A. So when we execute this query as expected, we are going to get all the five rows that are present in this table, table A. Now along with that query, I also want to use the accept operator and we want to select ID name gender from table B. Now when we execute this query, what is the result that we expect? Now, what is this accept operator going to do? It's going to return us the rows from the left query that are not there in the right query's results. And if you look at these two tables, these records, that is employee John and Sarah, those two records are present in both the tables. So when we execute this accept query, it should only return us the first three rows. So let's look at that in action. Notice that we get the rows from 1, 2, 3. So that's what the accept operator is going to do. This operator is introduced in SQL Server 2005. The most important thing to keep in mind is that for the accept operator to work, the number and the order of the columns must be the same in both the queries. And the data types must also be either same or compatible. Now what's going to happen if the number and the order of the columns is not same? For example, let's remove this gender column here. So in this query, we only have two columns, whereas in this query, we have got three columns. And if I execute this, notice that we get an error. Similarly, you know, in this case, the number is the same, but the order is different. Again, when we execute this, we are going to get the same error. Okay, so that's very important. The number and the order of the columns and the data types must be either same or at least compatible. And if you are from Oracle background, we can relate this except operator to minus operator in Oracle. Now, in this example, we have, you know, returned the results that are present in table A but not in table B. Now what if you want the other way around? I want the rows that are present in table B but not in table A. If that's the case, you can reverse these queries. So select ID name gender from table B, except ID name gender from table A. So when we execute this, we only get the rows that are present in table B but not in table A. So we only get here, in this case, six, seven, eight, which are present in table B but not in table A. Now here we have seen how to use the accept operator on two different tables. Is it possible to use it on a single table? Absolutely, you can use it on a single table and you can even have where clause. So for the single table example, we'll use this table TBL employees. Again, I've already created that and populated it with test data and here is the SQL script to do that. So what we want to do is select name, ID name, gender and salary from table TBL employees. So when we execute this query, it's going to give us all the employee rows, right? Now what I want to do is apply a where clause where salary is greater than or equal to 50,000. So what is this going to do? It's going to give us all the employees who has a salary greater than or equal to 50,000. Now I'm going to use accept operator and I'm actually going to make a copy of the select query and then I'm going to change the where clause here. So I'm going to say where salary is greater than or equal to 60,000. Now when we execute this, we should only get those employees whose salary is between 50,000 and 60,000. So we are using it on the same table, the accept operator. Now, we can also use order by class when we use the accept operator, but you have to use it after the right query, that is after the second query. You can't use order by right here. Let's say, for example, we want to order by ID in descending order. If I say order by ID descending here, we will get an error. You have to use it after 
the second query that is the right query so now when we execute that we get the result and notice that the result is sorted by ID in descending order thank you for listening and have a great day